are some sections of the uh, Forbidden City where you can step inside to a museum-like setting where they have artifacts that they have found from the Forbidden City uh, nicely displayed. Uh, this particular one, I believe, is some sort of a horse harness, obviously. Uh, the idea that you know, this is just one item that is replicated uh, throughout rooms and rooms and rooms of other artifacts uh, here. I love this beautiful enamel basin. It says it has the design of the eight emblems. Uh, so I guess I'll have to look around it and see what the, uh, what the various eight emblems are. This is a jade seal set. So you have that special stamp there in red to indicate uh, some sort of official court document, probably. This says this is a utensil used to hold gunpowder, uh, which makes sense since the Chinese invented gunpowder. This is a painted enamel teapot, obviously, uh, in the 1700s. Uh, so I'm sure a lot of tea was consumed here in the Forbidden City. I love this vase. It say, says red bottle in white ground. Again, 1700s, but uh, I really like the red color and the contrast on the white. I think it's just beautiful. And then right next to it is a little box that collects snuff bottles. So each little drawer in there has a small glass snuff bottle in it. Again, from the same era. It says it's a uh, little card says it's inlaid with jade. This case is apparently to hold a variety of jade ware, but all of, all, these are all little drawers, okay? So you can see the handles. It's a pretty big box. It's all covered in silk. And then they have a few of the drawers uh, pulled out so that you can see the lining and the design uh, and also how the drawers are you know, sort of tucked inside this whole complex of boxes. It says these are 45 cases which were used to store the most elegant jade ware in the palace. And as long as we're in the Forbidden City, we might as well look at a Ming vase. Uh, typical blue and white one, and only these, of course, are the real deal, unlike most of the reproductions, of course, that the rest of us can afford. It says the blue and white porcelain, this particular rain, um, this was late 1600s, into the 1700s a little bit. This is looking down the hallway in just one of the buildings. Inside here are some of the museum pieces. As you can see, the hallway goes and goes and goes and goes. Uh, and it has decorative painting on the ceiling the whole way up and down. Beautiful blue and green designs underneath the eaves as well and then of course a very nice view out into the courtyard.